I'm Steve Stops, Project Director on Ustar 2. We realised really early on that Ustar 2 is a great party game. The minute we put a group of people in a room playing a game together, the level of fun everyone had just went through the room. So we wanted to design and develop a game that would enhance that party experience. So for us, the key thing, um, we centred the design around what we call a drop-in, drop-out social experience. What we didn't want to do is design a game that had lots and lots of pre-scripted party modes that your friends turn up 10 minutes late to the party and suddenly find out they can't join in the game for half an hour as the current game mode plays itself out. We wanted to create something where friends can literally go, I want to join in and step up, join in the fun and play straight away. It's 106 miles to Chicago, we've got a tank full of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it! So we do this around three core concepts. The first one for us is the active frame-up process. Active frame-up simply means to choose the role you want to play in the scene, you stand in front of the actor you want to play. That really does enhance the experience, it makes it a much more physical experience for the player. It also gives players the ability to have um, multiplayer co-op scenes. So if there's a scene with two actors standing side by side, I jump up, I choose the actor that I want to play, and my friend can literally jump up alongside me and stand in front of the other actor and we both appear in the scene together, effectively delivering a co-op experience immediately for players. A lot of them are dead, a lot of them are alive, but it won't be for long. The logical assumption is that there's something in the grain. Yeah, bones, I want the triples, the grain, everything analyzed. I want to know what killed these triples. The second thing we wanted to focus the game around is having the ability to structure lots of different types of play using simple tools. So we constructed the idea of a playlist, and the playlist delivers lots of different types of play. So if I just want to choose my five favourite scenes and play them back to back, I can do that using my playlist. If I've got me and three of my friends in a sitting room and we want to choose the different scenes we want to perform, we each choose our favourite scene, and again, I jump up, I perform my scene, I sit down, my friend jumps up, they perform their scene, and it really creates a lot of fun. What we call this orchestrated chaos, where you get people jostling for position and running to get into scene in time. And then the third thing for us is this ability to have players choose the same scene multiple times. So um, I can choose my favourite scene, my friend can then choose the same scene and we can both perform it one after each other and we'll get scored and rated on who's the best actor. So it really creates a nice competitive atmosphere if that's what you're looking for as well. But the key thing for us is players have the choice, they're always in control of constructing their own party experience because after all it is their party. You look terrible. I want the other wings. I want you to rest a while, and a month from now, this Hollywood big shot is going to give you what you want. Too late, they started shooting in a week. I'm going to give it an awful recap or a few. The other great thing is, once you've had your great fun in a party, you can save all of your friends' performances and upload them and share them on the web. So the next day, you can effectively relive the party. And the game works as a record of the great fun you had with your friends. You can take that party experience a step further with the ability to throw themed parties. With the Ustore, we have a tremendous amount of downloadable content for you to choose from. So this will help you customise your event. 80s action movies, Academy Award winners, it's all here for you to create a specific playlist for your party. Have your guests dress up and then get ready to perform. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see no, her, please? Can't see her. She's making a statement. Where is she? Look, it may take a while. I'm on to wait. There's a bench over there. I'll be back. As well as the amazing party experience, Ustar also supports an incredible single player experience. For this, we look to challenge mode. And challenge mode gives us three key opportunities. The first one, probably the most important, is it gives the player a lot of fun. It's a great structured play experience that goes from easy scenes to more difficult scenes. And in our usability testing, we found once players go into challenge mode, it's really difficult to get them back out again because it's so addictive and so compulsive. The other couple of things it gives us though, is it gives us the opportunity to point players at different ways of playing the game. So whether they're creating their own unique performance or trying to deliver the most authentic performance they can. And it also helps us guide players through the wealth of content available in the game. As you can see, Ustar 2 is a great party game and a really compelling single player experience. We know that you're going to have a lot of fun with this, whether you're playing it on your own or with a group of friends. We can't wait to see the amazing content that people are going to create using this game and we hope you all have a lot of fun.